Okay, so you guys are probably aware of the shitty ass video that we're getting dropped on the Yukon map, and I just wanted to say that I'm not the biggest fan of the map myself, but I just wanted to go over it because, quite frankly, I'm not really the fan of the, the strats that they really talk about. I don't have a script for this video, I'm just going off the top of my head. I'm just going to put up a new one here and just, I'm going to go what comes up in my mind first when I fucking play this map. And, yeah, the narrator's garbage, we don't really need to talk about that, but, um, in terms of the things that they say, like, where to go, they use very vague terms, like, oh, help out your team when they need it. They don't use, like, specific positions on the map, like, where you need to know that they are. So what I typically do on my meds is, this map is pretty fucking symmetrical, so what I do is, um, because this map doesn't really have the most cover, I typically either spot up there if my team, like, I spot at this spot if my team is happy, it's like supporting me back there, but if they're not, I usually spot that bush instead. What I do is, I go to this bush, and that spot is very important for crossing people, but you can really only take it if you have enough meds to support you, and the only tank in the game that's viable to actually crop that position without bleeding reliably is the T-22 medium. So unless you have a lot of meds, and you're okay with taking the hit, and it's worth it to take that position or not take that position, usually what happens is you spot people crossing, and you're able to get shots there, there, and there, and usually pink unicorns who don't know what they're doing are going to push that spot for damage and as soon as you can yell as soon as they yell at that you can either poke there i would not recommend poking there because they have cds usually i usually poke from this rock right here so the only people who have shots you know these meds after you spot them from that bush so i put a shot to them you know maybe there's another fucking vehicle or whatever i wait till my camera resets and if my team is with me then i push so i don't bleed as much as they do and by the time i cross at the very worst case scenario, I am about even with these guys, and my team will have pushed with me. That's what I typically do in meds, and I've actually not played TDs on this map that much. I play pretty passive towards the mid, because if you overextend into this area, you have to have your team with you. Because there's so many shots, like, this entire corridor, anybody can fucking shoot you from across there. And if you don't have support, there's no way you can run. Um, like, the thing is... If you're in a mobile tank, you're probably going to want to spot that corner. Um, here is where I usually go with like my IS-4, my E-5, whatever, something that's fucking slower. I usually don't overextend unless I'm in my IS-4. It depends on what they're doing, because you can probably side scrape on this house reliably. There's also, if they're that side, if they're the fucking mill or whatever, you can take that side of the map more easily. But what I find is that you can actually, if you don't spot anything and you go to this house, then it's pretty practical to push up if you're in a heavy, um, like the ice for that's more mobile than, you know, something that isn't, uh, but yeah, right out of the gate, I really wouldn't recommend going to mill because it's like the city on, like, vineyards where you basically don't have cover and they're probably gonna spot you before, you, like, you spot them, and I don't really think it's that great of an idea to really fucking go here, unless the entire team goes here, and if you're in a med, you should probably be spotting the other side of the map anyway, but, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the aesthetics of the map, I've actually never been over here that much, but I think that really, the problem with maps like these, is that you can't really push, like, especially to that corner, like, I don't know what I'm saying, I don't have a script, but like, oh, uh, now I get a pin, that's lovely. But yeah, I just figured I'd make a video in response to that, because quite frankly, I don't think it's that very accurate, because, you know, we're gonna, they're gonna make fucking, I don't know, I'm ranting at this point. But yeah, I might call the video that, so if you're in mids, go here, if you're in TDs, play passive towards mid heavies, you can play a little bit more aggressive toward even more into the mid of the mid end. Yeah, that's that, I'll probably put out another video on something else today, but we'll see. And, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call it there.